2021 meeting of the Sacramento Area Flood Control Agency. Will the clerk please call the roll and establish a quorum? Thank you. Director Conan? Present. Director Avdis? Here. Director Jones? Director Johns? Director Shaw? Here. Director Ashby? Director Harris? Here. Director Jennings? Here. Director Desmond? Here. Director Frost? Director Frost? Director Kennedy? Here. Director Natoli? Here. And Director Nava? Here. Thank you, we do have a quorum. Thank you. Uh, Director Shaw, would you mind leading us in the pledge, please? Next slide, please. Thank you. Sure, I'd be happy to. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of United America, States of America and to the Republic America. for which it stands, one nation, nation. under God, America. indivisible, indivisible. With, liberty with liberty and justice, and justice for, all. for all. Thank you very much, Cyril. Appreciate that. Uh, Lindy, do you have announcements? I thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This meeting of safety. I'm sorry, I thought I was on mute. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This meeting of SAFCA is being recorded and will be re-aired on Friday, September 17th at 2 p.m. and will also be posted on SAFCA's website. As a courtesy reminder, please mute your microphones when you are not speaking. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Lindy. Uh, why don't you call for the first item, public comments. Are there any members of the public who would like to speak to items not listed on the agenda? Yes. Yes, uh, Mr. Murphy, I believe that you would like to make a comment. Yes, I would. Thank you. Um, let me get this straight. You can't. You can see me, but I can't see you. Well, I can see you. Okay. You should be able to see us. Okay. Um, that's fine. Well, Chairman Harris, board members, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to be heard. Um, as you may know, my family uh, currently owns two levy properties on the Sacramento River. Um, and I have been working with SAFCA representatives on my encroachments. Uh, in particular, Mr. Jay Davis from Falco Consulting and also Bill Tanner from Paragon Partners. And I must say that I've had a pleasant experience in working with both of these gentlemen, and I think we've made a lot of progress. I recently signed um, the contract with SAFCA on my first property. Um, and I'm working with uh, Mr. Davis right now on my other parcel. Uh, I think I've demonstrated cooperation and wanting to work with uh, SAFCA and its representatives. And I certainly recognize, as do most people in this area, the importance of this levy project. So um, hopefully we're showing that cooperation. Um, I would, I'd like to ask, do you, do you folks have a copy of the comments that I submitted to Ms. Russell? Mindy, can you answer that? Did you distribute that? I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Murphy. I have not received your written public comments. Oh, okay. I, hmm, I thought I got confirmation that you'd receive those, but that's okay. All right. I, I'll, I guess I'll just tell you what they are. You, you uh, please um, email them to me at the board clerk email address, and I will make sure they okay. be added to the record. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, um, a critical issue faced by all private property owners have received letters from SAFCA about the removal of our encroachments like stairs and fences. Um, and a concern is the encroachments will be permitted for replacement after the project. Um, we all know that the flood board is the sole authority for the permitting process. There's no question about that. 
Um, in the agreement that I just signed, I had actually proposed some language in my counter proposal to SAFCA that uh, I wanted and was hoping to get some kind of assurance that my encroachments would in fact be re-permitted after the project. And in the agreement, this is the language that came back from SAFCA. SAFCA has no authority to approve the issuances of permits by the Central Valley Flood Protection Board and holds no opinion of the likelihood of said permits being approved. Um, now we're pretty familiar, myself and the other property owners are familiar with that position. Uh, and we also are familiar that the process of requesting and obtaining permits from the flood board is a real concern because the board president, Mr. Bill Edgar, has, has openly stated opposition to permitting encroachments on the levy. So this is a great concern. Um, it's my opinion that since SAFCA and the flood board are considered project partners on the SREL3 project, I would like to request that SAFCA urges somebody else talking. Please mute your microphones if you are not speaking. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, sorry, I, I heard somebody, I thought somebody was trying to say something to me. So, I'll repeat that, that since SAFCA and the flood board are project partners on SREL 3, I would like to request that SAFCA urges the flood board in writing to grant permits for the encroachments to private property owners, thus enabling us to have access to our private property and also provide protection for our safety and security. Um, and I do find it curious that SAFCA offers these incentive payments for encroachment removals and replacements including the permit and application fees, but there's no assurance from the flood board that these payments are not just a waste of taxpayers' money. Those are my comments. Your air is muted. You're muted, Jeff. Yeah, uh, Mr. Murphy, thank you for your comments. Uh, we appreciate it. We've discussed this issue before at SAFCA, and as we've noted, and in, in the written communication, the Central Valley Flood Board uh, does have the deciding um, power on, on whether or not encroachments will, will be allowed uh, moving forward, but we will take your comments under advisement. It's a fairly complex issue certainly involves the city of Sacramento as well. And uh, thank you for your well, presentation. May I add to that, so, Mr. Harris? May I add to that? Well, uh, Mr. Murphy, this isn't a discussion. It's your time to make comments not on the agenda. And uh, this is not actually an issue that we can discuss because it's not on the agenda. So we appreciate your comments. We understand your point of view. And uh, we're going to go ahead and move on with our agenda because we do have several items to get through today. Okay. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity. Absolutely. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Next slide, please, Alia. Item number one, the executive director's report. Next slide, please. All right. Good. Good afternoon, everyone. Just a real quick report because um, we we've got a number of items today. Um, I did I did just want to point out that since we've had a number of discussions on real estate policies recently, we went ahead and and item nine is included as a receive and file information item where we pulled together all the policies into one spot to make it easier if if you're needing to look up anything. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. So if you go to the next slide, please. So just a couple real quick uh, recent pictures that I was able to get from the core. This is uh, some of the slurry wall work going on up in the Natomas Basin. Uh, next slide there, uh, Alia. And then uh, showing some of the work at the pumping plant over uh, Reach B there um, that, that's going on. Um, then this is down uh, slurry wall work down on the Sacramento River. Uh, part of the Common Features 2016 project. 
And then this last slide, the next slide, sorry, if you go to the next one, this is actually aerial provided by the state of California. This is all the work going on out in the Sacramento bypass widening and also where they're widening the Yolo bypass. You can see the Yolo bypass running um, in the upper part of the picture and the Sacramento bypass where it's coming in down at the lower part. You see the setback levy there. You can see the the corrective action management unit from the relocated bright landfill, and then um, the the pumping plant there that Safeco is is constructing as a part of the project. Um, so a lot of activity going on out in the bypass there. So I put this slide together just to kind of show us when we're going to get to everything. The green line basically is. Um, means the work's essentially completed. The red line approximates areas currently under construction. The blue line uh, shows the areas that are intended to uh, start construction in 2022. And the yellow lines are approximate the areas that will um, go in construction starting in 23. And then finally, the last thing I wanted to, to point out is that um, Michael Connor, who has been nominated by President um, Biden to be the new Assistant Secretary of the Army for Civil Works, his nomination is getting close to the end. He has a hearing, I believe it's next week, um, on from the EPW, the Environment and Public Works Committee on the Senate, and then he'll go to the full Senate floor. The one thing that I wanted to point out, he was the Reclamation Bureau of Reclamation Commissioner during the period when we were building the uh, Folsom Dam Joint Federal Project. So he's very familiar with that project and, and our area there. So so um, look forward to, to working with him. He's the ultimate decision maker on the core side when it comes to, to some of the issues that we end up with. So real quickly, that's all I had for the executive director report today, if there's any questions. Any comments or questions for Rick on his report? Don't see any, Lindy, go ahead and call out consent. Next, we have consent matters and items two through six are in order. Staff rep recommends dropping item seven from the agenda. Uh, do we need a motion to, to move that forward to take it off the agenda? One motion for the, my request will suffice. Thank you. I'll make that motion, Chair <laughs> Harris. I'll second. second. <laughs> We, I couldn't tell who that was. Who was the mover? I have a motion by Nick Abdis and a second by Director Desmond. Okay, and this is to uh, continue item seven? To drop item seven from the agenda and approve items two through six. Okay, great, all in one motion, that's great. Uh, any comments or questions about consent? Seeing none, please call the roll. Thank you, Director Conant. Aye. Director Avdis? Aye. Director Jones? Director Johns? Yes. Director Shaw? Aye. Director Ashby? Director Harris? Aye. Director Jennings? Aye. Director Desmond? Aye. Director Frost? Director Kennedy? Aye. Director Natoli? Director Nava. Aye. Thank you. Motion passes with nine member approval. Next slide, please. Um, the next item is closed session and the directors will now recess to discuss items listed on the agenda. They will return after closed session is completed as a reminder, please remember to leave your microphones on mute. Director Abdis. Here. Director Jones. Director Johns. Here. Director Shaw. Here. Director Ashby. Here. Director Harris. Here. Here. Director Jennings. Here. Director Desmond. Here. Director Frost. Director Kennedy. Here. 
Director Natoli. Been here the whole Director. time waiting. Thanks. Thank you. Director Nava. Here. We do have a quorum established. Next slide, please. We have a report out on closed session. Government Code Section 54956.9 Consultation with Agency Council regarding existing litigation. Safeco versus Carol J. Johnson as trustee of the Carol J. Johnson Trust at all. Sacramento Superior Court case number 342019002248521. This is Jeremy Goldberg reporting out agency counsel, uh, no action taken. Thank you. Government Code Section 54956.8, Conference with Real Property Negotiators, Property at 2050 Garden Highway, Sacramento, California, 95833, Assessor Parcel Number 274-0220-073, Negotiating Party, Linda S. Parr, David D. Parr, under negotiation, price and terms of payment. Motion by Director Abner. This seconded by Director Desmond, um, uh, directing staff to continue negotiations. Uh, if successful, details will be made public when reduced to writing. Thank you. Next slide, please. Our next item is separate matters, a public hearing resolution number 2021107 continued from the August 19th, 2021 Board of Directors meeting authorizing an eminent domain action to condemn real property interests for the REACH A component of Phase 4B of the American River Watershed Program, the Thomas Levy Improvement Project. The interest acquisition over a portion of Sacramento County Assessor Parcel Number 274-0220-073 at 2050 Garden Highway in Sacramento, California, 95833. Property owners Linda Susan Parr, trustee of the trust for the benefit of David Donald Parr under the D. Donald and Alice E. Parr revocable trust dated February 3rd, 1993. Linda Susan Parr, trustee of the Linda S. Parr revocable trust dated January 4th, 2013 and David D. Parr pursuant to section 1245240 of the California Code of Civil Procedure this item requires a two thirds or nine member approval vote to pass. So members, um, since we took action to continue negotiations, I would move to uh, continue this item to our next meeting. I'll second. We have a motion by the director Harris, uh, second by director Abdus, I believe. Yes. And Lindy. Uh, can you call roll on this? Yes, Director Conan. Director Conan. Aye. Director Abdus. Aye. Director Jones. Aye. Director Johns. Aye. Director Shaw. Aye. Director Ashby. Yes. Director Harris. Aye. Director Jennings. Yes. Director Desmond. Aye. Director Frost? Aye. Director Kennedy? Aye. Director Natoli? Aye. Director Nava? Aye. Motion passes with 13 member approval. Thank you. Next slide, please. Oh. The remaining items on the agenda are received and filed. Very good. Thank you, Lindy. I appreciate all your efforts here. Are there any comments or, or concerns from, from uh, our members about any items on their mind? I do not see anybody who is wanting to discuss anything. Uh, therefore, we have concluded our business today. I thank you all very much for attending, and we can adjourn this meeting at seven minutes till four. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. We're going to be safe. Thanks, Thanks Jeff. Thank you.